what? They were paying a state tax. Now, this was a long time ago. So that means that they were paying, I don't know if it was 25, 35, 40 percent of whatever value I gave them or, if, or whoever gave them for taxes to the government. And so it was, of course, wrong. The appraiser did not know the difference between the values, had never been schooled or taken USPAP or any of the courses that are required to um, do a good job and to be certified. And therefore, they, the estate had to pay twice for the same appraisal. And of course, mine was liquidation and it came out, uh, it was liquidation and fair market it came out substantially lower uh, than the appraised value at the beginning and saved the family a lot of money in taxes. I do have that listed on my website um, under About Us, and it's um, appraiser saves thousands in taxes or something like that. I remember writing an article about it. And so it's super important what appraiser you get, just like what doctor you get, what lawyer you get, what CPA you get. We are professional people. We have to be uh, accredited. We have to have continuing education. But that's me. That's because that's what I want. Any appraiser does not, in Texas, have to be accredited, certified, educated, anything. They don't even have to ever take in a course in jewelry appraising. And they can type up an appraisal for you. And unfortunately, that's the rule. When it comes to real estate, real estate appraisers have to be certified. And other types of appraisers do, but personal property appraisers don't. And so sometimes I've seen when people bring in uh, other appraisals that they're charging as much as we are, and they don't have even near one-tenth percent of the education or the experience or the qualifications that we have. So you will be overpaying for someone that doesn't have the expertise. Selected and graded by me. To ensure you're getting more value than what you are paying.